This video will show Spur reviewers the basics of accessing and logging in to the peer review platform eJournal Press. If you have received an email and agreed to review a manuscript but did not have an account before agreeing, one is automatically created for you. A link to access the manuscript and submit the review is present in the email you receive upon agreeing. However, you can also log in and start or complete reviews anytime via the EJP homepage, spur.msubmit.net. If this is your first time logging in, not in response to a specific review invitation, you must register for an account. This can be done via the new users link. You will be asked to enter your last name, email, and telephone number so that the system can determine if an account already exists for you. If the system does find an account, your login name and a new temporary password will be emailed to you. If the system does not find an existing account, you will be directed to the registration screen where you can enter your personal information and choose a login name and password. If you know you have an account, but you have forgotten your password or your login name, or are unsure what they are from the account that was automatically created for you, you can reset them by clicking Unknown Forgotten Password. Here, you will be able to search either by login name, email address, or name. The system can generate a new password for your account and email it to you. Upon logging into the system for the first time after requesting this new password, the system will prompt you to reset your password to a new personal value. Once your login credentials are clear, you will be directed to the Manuscript Home page. This will be accessible as soon as an account is created and on all subsequent logins. Your main action items will be accessible under the Reviewer Tasks heading. There are also several tabs to be aware of. The first is Reviewer Instructions. So this link and this tab will both take you to the Reviewer Instructions. Here, you will find information on the SPUR review process as well as instructions on navigating EJP. Be sure to review the linked reviewer guidelines before starting or completing a review. You can use display past reviews to see all of your previous reviews for SPUR, including your comments and the final decision letter. Any currently assigned reviews will have a red arrow to the left of them and can be submitted via this link. We will have a separate video showing reviewers how to submit a review for SPIRT.